Hey everybody, hope you guys are healthy and safe. So you're watching footage shot with the Insta360 X4. This is the newest in Insta360 X series. So this is a 360 camera for those of you who may not know. And what's new to the X4 is that it can shoot in video resolutions up to 8K and 30 FPS. In fact, you're watching 8K footage right now. So this 8K resolution is spread across a 360 degree video. So you're getting a lot more details than the X3 which shot at 5.7K and also when you reframe this video later to view on YouTube like what you're watching right now the footage output is about 4K which is still better than previous cameras because you shoot at 5.7K and then you output then it's like 2.7K the math is complicated but basically the higher res the better when it comes to 360 degree videos you can also shoot at 5.7K at 60 FPS which is what you're watching right now so this is probably a little bit better for action sports enthusiasts so but to be honest i don't really shoot 360 degree videos that much because there are not many platforms to watch 360 degree videos instead i shoot using a mode called me mode which only uses one camera of the two and i just have to hold the stick like this and it will film me like this camera will keep me center frame like this and the insta 360 software will also eliminate the selfie stick from the video so even if I have to stick very long and extend like this, you can't see the stick. It looks like there's a camera person uh, floating in front of me right now. So this is really awesome. This mode is not new. It was in the X3, but in the last generation X3, it maxed out at 1080p. But now the X4 can shoot at up to 4K 30. And on top of that, if you drop down to 2.7K, you can shoot at 120 FPS, which then allows you to slow down the footage and still get smooth motion. So this is very fun to play with and it's my main use mode. There's also a standard single lens video, which you're still shooting with just one of the cameras, but instead of holding it like this, like me mode, you're holding it straight ahead like this. This is more like an action camera mode. You can show up to 4K 60 on this mode. And um, you can see that it's pretty wide. Even when I'm holding it like this, you're getting really wide field of view. Single lens mode to shoot a 4K 30 video pointing straight ahead. So hands-free because I have the camera just on a selfie stick on the, on the chair right now. But with the extra power comes a larger physical size. The X4 is a little bit larger than the X3 in both size and weight. The screen is bigger, however, you have a 2.5 inch screen now compared to before, it was a 2.2 inch screen. The battery is also much larger, it's a 2200 something milliamp hour that allows you to shoot 60% longer than before. You have this little slot here, this houses the USB-C port to charge the battery. And in here, it's a removable battery, so this battery is larger than the X3. And in this little slot is where you store the SD card. Also new to the X4, if you look, there's a little slot here that allows you to snap on a lens guard to protect the cameras a little bit better. And you do get a set of lens guard with the retail packaging, but Insta360 is also selling a nicer, more premium one. That's a separate purchase. So in terms of button, this is the record button. You hit this to record a video. This is a mode button. And then over here, power button. And this is a quick function button. And then of course, you can also use the Insta360 to take photos, either 360 photos or using one of the lens to take just a normal photo okay right now you're watching single lens footage 4k 60. i just have the camera propped up on the surface with a selfie stick so there's so much more to the insta 360 x4 that i haven't even talked about yet this guy can also shoot 360 degree videos at 4k resolution at 100 fps 100 fps means that it is there's enough frames where you can slow down the footage a little bit not as slow as the 120 fps but still slow enough that you can get some pretty cool footage considering you're shooting 360 degrees that's very impressive there's a very useful mobile app for ios and android that when you jump in there you can make all the edits directly on the app you can transfer files from the camera wirelessly to the phone and then you can output it post it on instagram immediately so within the Insta360 app, you can also do auto tracking. Here we see a little red circle. Just tap it and the video will track the subject. So it's a 360 video, but the AI is constantly recognizing objects and subjects. So, and then Insta360 also has a really good desktop app for Windows and Mac. If you edit through the desktop app and output there, that's when you get the highest bit rates and get the highest quality videos. But I like doing it on a phone app because it's so easy and convenient. But if you have time, 
do it on a desktop app to get the best results. There's so much more. There's like AI hand gestures. You cannot control the camera using your hand movement without needing to physically touch the camera. So ultimately, the Insta360 X4 is yet another must-carry camera for me when I travel. And honestly, it's not just me. Whenever I go to events now, tech events like the iPhone launches and stuff, the camera I see most is the Insta360 camera because this guy is a do-it-all camera. You just need to bring one little guy like this size. It can You can shoot video all around you. You can shoot hands-free video of yourself like what I'm doing right now. You can shoot me mode, which you can push out the selfie stick and get your entire body and background into the frame. And the internal mics are not bad, right? Right now you're just hearing audio directly from the Insta360's mic. I'm here in a very loud building with air conditioning running right now. In a quieter environment, the audio sounds even better. So see, I'm just filming with the single lens of the X4 right now like this. The X4 is just an awesome camera to bring out for people who like to be outside to go on adventures. It's waterproof up to 33 feet or 10 meters for non-Americans. So you can take this on the water. And then, like I said, there's a lens guard. Now you can snap onto the lens. So you drop this on a hike. You don't have to worry. I think it's going to be good. So the Insta360 X4, because of all the new features, it did get a price bump. It now retails for 499 or well, 500 US dollars. I know some people are going to say that's expensive because there are people, I'm always surprised, there are people out there who just don't like to go outside. You know? I mean, if you live that type of life, then everything's gonna be expensive other than your car and your 80 inch TV at home. If you're someone who actually likes to go outside and document your life, if you're someone who likes to post Instagram reels that are creatively shot, this camera takes care of all of that. And I'm pretty sure even at 500 bucks, it's gonna be highly popular with content creators because it is just such a useful, do it all travel camera. But if you're interested in using this camera but find it too expensive, you can get the X3 for a little bit less money. Maybe even get it secondhand for less than $300. The X3 is still highly capable and can still do most of the stuff I just mentioned. The X4's main benefit is it can shoot 8K video, which looks sharper and cleaner when you output it into a reframe video. But the X3 at 5.7K is still pretty good. The X4 is better, don't get me wrong. But if you have the X3, you may not need to upgrade immediately. If you're on the market for a 360 camera and you find 500 bucks a little bit too high, the X3 is a worthy alternative. But if you can spend the money, the X4 is the best consumer grade 360 camera on the market right now. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please subscribe to my channel. I have a lot more coming. A bunch of Apple devices and new foldables from Vivo, a bunch of stuff. It's gonna be a busy, April and May too. So stay tuned. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.